This one's somehow worse, I believe. <laughs> this one's that. Why well, have it? Yeah, I think this one's far worse. But to be fair, the pickle one seemed much more frozen than the Wayava one. The Wayava one I picked up at. The new Mercado North Cake Market. I was actually pleasantly, pleasantly surprised at their ice cream section. Like, even though it was small. But you're mostly there to shop for food. But we mostly just explored. We'll go back and do the food later. But they had a pretty decent ice cream selection for being small. I mean, it's so it's so part of a grocery it's so part of a grocery store too. But I was pleasantly surprised they had the. Although I was mostly looking for the my mochi or chata. The Wayava one has been one that I've been looking for. But at least I found the Wayava one. I was just looking for that darn chata. But. I do know there's a store in Knives that I know that my mochi has posted that I didn't realize that California has. I think it's called like, it's another Mexican grocery store called like Valorata, I think, something. Yeah, Valorata. Valorata. Something like that. But I know there's been a post on that and they it shows that they have the my mochi ice cream. I believe there's one. There's one in Anaheim, so I might go over there to go and get the Archanto one. We'll see. This one is like really pretty. Just look at that. These ones got kind of retained their shape a little bit better, but I lost a blue few in the process. I think they bangled up with the other two. But don't worry, these are still safe. Even though they're messed up, they're still safe to eat. This is why if I were to recommend getting these my mochis, do not be far away. Because <laughs> that was kind of far for both of these. Oh yeah, this one kind of traveled for a long time too. I forgot how long that traveled too. But they were outside the freezer for a sporadic amount of times. But, we're going to try this. It's supposed to have like a white, you can kind of see the white. I don't really smell the white ever, but let's try it. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that was good. I'm trying over here so I don't get any of the stuff on my computer. On my iPad. But yeah. That is a refreshing way of a flavor. That's like a good, really nice. And that tastes like a fresh Wayaba. Like, it doesn't taste like artificial at all. It's, it's really creamy and really sweet too. And it has a little bit of like, tartness to it, but not bad. Not too much tartness. But it is really good. Yeah, but this one is really good too. But obviously, for so far, for these two that I've tried, that was a like, really good way of a flavor. These two have been really, these two, pickle and the way of I put the pickle one back in the freezer so I can freeze again. <laughs> but these two 
are really good. And unfortunately, they're not gonna magically retain their shape because they're in mochi. They're not gonna retain their shape. When I burped, I just tasted pickle right there. So even though I just had the guayaba, I still taste the pickle. But yeah, I surprisingly liked very... I surprisingly liked both of these really good. Surprisingly, both of these were really good. I was more pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with the pickle. So now you may you may actually see a review of the Van Loo and Dill pickle. I was thinking about getting it, but but I mean I might still get. But truth be told, I had the, I don't go to Walmart that much anymore. But I know I'll probably if I do go, I'll get the pickle one, and I might get like a different flavor too. But we'll see. But. For both of these, obviously, I like the guayaba better. Like, not just because the pickle is weird, it's just I like this flavor better. But the pickle one was still really good too, which I'm also shocked to say that. But yeah, I think I'll give the guayaba one. I have the all of my mochis, I think I still like the... Hmm. You know what? I'll give the Wyava one like a nine and a half. And I'll actually give the pickle. I'll give like the pickle like probably like a I'd say eight and a half. I'll give the pickle an eight and a half because they're both good. So pickle gets an eight and a half. Grapefruit, I mean Wyava. Gets a nine and a half out of ten. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a messy review, messy, interesting my mochi reviews. And Oreo Boy is out. This is what it looks like. This is the Wayava one. 